so welcome back to um this week's <laughs> episodes of hair for a friday uh in case in case um i guess if you've noticed i'm currently filming in a car it's because i'm not in my room because i'm out of town and so because you know ricky's doing some work stuff and i guess he wanted me to tag along and so i guess we're going to film um these videos to the best of my ability and so everything uh typically should be the same i'm not obviously driving you see the car is still um and so everything should be pretty much the same no differences i'll be in the car and so with that being said let's just go and get started so of course uh this case is another military related case um this is probably like the third case involving a veteran that i've covered so far trust me it's not intentional it's just there's just always a female killer involved in the equation somewhere so of course this being a female murder channel your girl's gonna cover it obviously so anyway start off with the killer like always Jeannie cassandra vengeance was born in pottsville pennsylvania an exact year or even date of birth was not even given all this was never actually confirmed it was said that she had an unstable childhood she was said to have graduated from stroudsburg high school in 2011 um after high school she would join the military like many people do and she even did competitive bo bodybuilding on the side. Uh, while in the military, she would meet a Kevin Didi, who she would eventually marry. On December 14, 2012, enter into the picture, you have Mary Grace Didi. So you have Jeannie and Kevin who now have a daughter, which is Mary Grace. That's their offspring. Okay. Kevin would get called to go serve in another country. What other countries? It didn't say. And the sources just kept saying overseas. And so them going overseas. Sorry. Kevin going overseas would cause Jenny to like split, so they they would separate, but they were still like legally married because in all, like all the news sources, she still had his last name. And so while Jenny was in the army, I felt like that I should have mentioned this. She worked as a chemical, radiological, biological, and nuclear specialist, and she had also won several awards. Uh, she had received um, several awards such as the Army Ribbon Service. National Defense Service Medal and the Global War on Terrorism Global Medal. So in early 2015, uh, Jeannie starts dating a, a Zachary Earl Kiefer, who was born sometime in 1984. And of course, Zachary is, or I guess, sorry, was the owner of Extreme Fitness Incorporated, which is basically like a company that I guess helps prepare people for bikini and bodybuilding competitions, which Jeannie did both. So I guess obviously that had them interact with each other a lot. So then, of course, they start dating. And so on the fateful day of December 2nd, 2015, uh, Zachary would arrive to the apartment where Jeannie and Macy were living at the time. And so there are two different versions of the story. Zach says that, Zach says that in his version, Macy basically started throwing up within 30 minutes of him being there. And she started moving, like, involuntarily. And so he tells Jeannie to go call down on one because Macy's not acting right. Uh, however, in Jeannie's version, the version that she gave... She basically said that she had to go to a medical appointment. So I guess like I guess you could say a doctor's appointment. And I guess she had Zach come over to like watch the kid and like while she's at the medical appointment, because Macy was like she's like two, three years old, so she can't she can't be by herself. And she was fine when she left, but when she came back, that's when she started acting weird. Basically trying to imply that Zach may have done something to her. So then of course par paramedics arrived, which as they're supposed to, and then uh she would be taken to the hospital where basically Yeah, so basically, um Macy Grace basically has to be taken to the hospital, of course, for her mom and trying to figure out what was going on. And so the injuries that she had was so severe that she actually wound up having to go into another hospital. Uh, eventually, it got to the point where, sadly, she winds up being on life support. And then, of course, the decision was decided where she would stay on life support until her husband, sorry, not until her husband, her father, Kevin Didi, remember Jeannie's, I guess, ex-husband at this point until he could fly back from overseas to like basically say his final goodbye to macy so then once he was able to get that final hug from macy they eventually pulled the plug of course macy was then legally declared dead and this was december 4th 2015 10 days before she was due to turn three so macy is officially deceased um and it said that three days after macy grace died basically a photographer named sunny joe had reached out to Jeannie. um i guess like asking if she wanted to do like a like some kind of photo shoot to remember Macy by and a month later after Macy's death she would contact Sunny Joe saying she did want to do the photo shoot and basically like superimpose Macy in the pictures like pictures of her to make it like she was more like in this angel like while at Macy's grave so basically there are pictures of Jeannie at Macy's grave and she's kind of like in an angel like form if that makes sense 
And so while at Macy's grade, basically, uh, Jeannie would actually read her favorite book. It's called The Giving Tree. Uh, she had told Sonny Joe that the reason why Macy died was because apparently she had choked on a banana and that Macy had apparently had suffered from seizures. So then she had apparently had a seizure while choking and that basically was her cause of death. And somehow so Sonny Joe was so moved by this that he basically had the $500 session for free. So he normally charged $500 for considering the circumstances that he was told he basically like did a free charge because he thought that she was a grieving mother who had just lost her child. Uh, a GoFundMe page would be created where somehow $6,000 was raised before it was deleted by the page. I guess because it was the death of a child that people, I guess, felt like that they should have to donate. Uh, veterans apparently actually have life insurance for themselves, their spouses, and, like, their children. So the donations weren't even necessary because the life insurance would have covered it because Jeannie, both parents were in the military. So her funeral expenses and stuff would have been covered. So, three months later, I don't know what took so long, but apparently three months later, her autopsy would publicly come out, and it was discovered that she had bruises on her head. Those bruises caused hemorrhoids, which ultimately... So then, of course, once it's discovered that she actually didn't die from, like, I guess, banana choking, that apparently it was it was basically revealed that she was actually abused. So then, of course, uh, Jeannie basically would get arrested for her death. Uh, Zachary would be found soon later after there was a bolo. You know, be on the lookout for the for him. He was arrested soon after. In November 2019, Zachary would be dropped, sorry, Zachary would have all charges against him dropped regarding the death of Macy Grace simply because he could not have been present when um, the injuries happened. And apparently the injuries were said to have been at least 12 hours before 911 was called. And a source said he had a, a source said he had an alibi and this other source said he just simply couldn't have been involved. And so Zachary eventually has all charges dropped against him. So, uh, Jeannie's eventual charges were first degree murder and child abuse because obviously she still she still was in jail at this point. And 2020, apparently she went to trial and her trial ended up being a hung jury, being 10 to 2. Um, obviously 10 deciding that she was guilty and 2 deciding that she wasn't because I guess there wasn't enough evidence. And somehow in November of 2021, she would be released on $50,000 bond and she currently is out right now. And I haven't heard any updates about the case. I don't know if they're even going to proceed trying to punish her or just let her I guess go free and so yeah that was the Jeannie Didi, Didi case I guess let me know what you think uh, I guess I gave all the information I could sources down below give any recommendations to I guess like similar cases and I'll see if I can cover them like if there's enough information and so I'll see y'all with the next video bye